Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we all? Uh, I'll just wait for a few more of you to come in. Hello, Attractor. Oh, I was just talking about you, Attractor. Hello, Sally Ann. Uh, Anne, hang on, Lynn. Princess What sits in. Hello, my love. Annie, hello. Clangy bee, clangy bee. How are you, Princess, my love? Oh, no, look, people, are start, people know I'm going live and they're starting sending me messages. Um, anyway, Marina, how have you just messaged me, Marina? Because you've just sent me an email, I think. Hang on, let me have a look. Or was it Ali? No, it's Marina. Marina. Uh, morning from Lincoln, says Anne. Lauren from Steps, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, morning, John Scott, she says. Annette Crouch, good morning. June, hello, my lovely. How are you? Now, am I in the right place? I don't, we don't want the thingy over my face, do we? Hello, Susan Tingy. Hello, Pam Mini Harney. How are you, my lovely? Now, I think I got your thingies yesterday, Pam Mini Honey, when I got back from London. Will that be right? Hello, Sue. Or oh, two Sue. Sue Lake and Sue Lawrence both come in at the same time. Uh, Anne, how are you? Oh, and two Anne's. Anne Wilson and Anne Alston. Anne Alston, didn't you used to be Bernie the Bolt? Princess is well. I'm good, thank you. Why do I look rough? I just sat down, right? I just sat down to um, do this, right? Morning, a silly nanny jelly. Uh, I sat down, morning, Cheryl. Thinking, oh, I've not had a shave. Hello, uh, Claire. Uh, Cloudy Norwich. Oh, dear. Uh, hello, Annette, my love. Um, have I just read a message from you? Oh, no, Annette, you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Bernie says, morning, everyone. Joyce says, how lovely it is to see us all. Terry, good morning from sunny South Shields. It's not sunny here, I tell you. South Yorkshire. A Bernie's watching. Gorgeous Bernie's watching. You're not working this morning, Bernie. Uh, morning, John. How are you today? Dull in York. It's dull here. Hello, Crazy Lorraine. How are you, my love? Crazy Lorraine's got a budgie now. Annette, it's Annette's birthday. Uh, we call her Annette Curtain. Do you get it? Annette, Annette Curtain. Uh, hang on, hang on. We're going quickly again. I hope uh, Annette have said that. Morning, John. Hope you're well. A bit cloudy in Devon. June, love the picture behind you. Cheryl's got no picture. Refresh, Cheryl. Dominique, how are you? Oh, now she's got a signed picture. About... Oh, Dominique, there's your other one, look. On the computer. Uh, Karen Morning, Karen from Wigan. It's always wet and windy and miserable in Wigan, isn't it? Valerie Jordan. Hopefully to see you too. Morning from Cloudy Norfolk, says Kath. Bernie says morning, everyone. Sue's there. Uh, oh, Sue. Now, there's another Sue, right? Sue Martindale. It's her first time she's watching. Where have you been? We've been doing this since the blooming lockdown started. Pat Mason. Now, that's. I don't think that's the Pat Mason I went to school with. Amy. Oh, another first time watching. Good morning, Amy, my love. Right, hang on. Oh, there's so many messages. Sorry, uh, Amy. Pauline says hello. 43 years wedding. Blimey, Pauline. You deserve a medal. Jackie Lewis from Ellie Port. And now Julie's not there today. Julie's uh, in France at the moment. She might tune in in a minute, actually. Uh, County Durham says Jean is cloudy. Oh, Cheryl's got the picture now. Bernie having a day off because she's working at the weekend. God love her. I'm on again with Bernie next Tuesday. Uh, some lovely blue sky in the new forest. Oh, how lovely. <gasps> now, I tell you what, I watched Escape to the Country yesterday and they were in, where's my friend Claire live? Isla White. Oh, it looked beautiful. Uh, coffee morning group. Yes, good morning. How have you got your vegan lip balm on? I've got nothing on. Why? Does it look like I'm shiny? Vegan lip balm. Have I got some vegan lip balm? Did you send me some vegan lip balm? Sun shining in Easingwold, New York. Morning, Debbie. Nikki, morning. Cloudy in Portsmouth. Caroline, morning. Uh, Susan says, welcome to the gang, Amy. Oh, now Karen had the worst night's sleep. What happened, Karen? I, had the, I shouldn't tell you this, but I had the worst wind last night. I can't tell you. Good morning here from Eastbourne. That's Nancy Lynn Chewitt. Getting brain ache, sitting with grandson doing his... Year five. How old's that then, if he's year five? I don't understand that, because we didn't do that those at school. Debs is watching. Madly stitching. And she's on holiday in Cromer next week. Oh, it's going to rain all week next week, then, if she's going to Cromer. Morning, says Jennifer. Die. Hello. Georgina. Hello. Lo is watching. I wonder if she, are you in your caravanette, Lo? Have you gone out in your Winnebago? Fiona's looking forward to today's session. Blimey, Fiona. I haven't even thought about it yet. Uh, can't, couldn't watch on Tuesday and can't find it on your Facebook page. Is it on my YouTube? Check on my YouTube, um, Heather. Oh, that, that might have been me because I was messing around just then. 
Overcast Salisbury, says Kim. Janet Morning. Oh, Mother in Wales. Can't see anything but a green screen. Well, it's your problem, not mine, Mother. You're technical. Mother ran the whole of this morning. She was the PA for the whole of this morning. You know, the person who does the timings and everything. Julie's lovely pictures. Oh, yeah, Julie's... Yeah, she went to... um To... Oh, Joan... Walter. Walter's 100th birthday. Got my... Got my John's gift. A mug with my other mug of you. Oh, Carol, thank you. Pauline. You'll tell the hubby that. Yeah, Pam Mini Honey. Yeah, I got your face coverings yesterday. Oh, they've gone. They're packed. I was at Dulcie's last night packing them in boxes. By the thousands, they were going in the boxes. We're doing a big handover to um, Wellchild on Friday afternoon. Uh, morning, John. Just taking up the stairs to my sewing room. Spent the day making masks. Ah, oh, thank you, Jam. Uh, you make make them for you, because everyone's going to need them from next week, aren't they? Uh, wonder why I couldn't hear you. Realise turn the sound off. Oh, OK. Jam, clever. Morning from Damp. Damp Ballymena at Sylvia. Helen Haynes, I'm not looking out the window. In my head, it's scorching. Yes, I face in the window. Oh, Clive's in, everyone. Uh, Glosty, Glosty, no, it's not Glosty. It's cloudy in Gloucestershire, where Catherine is. Hilary Kankidrovsky says, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, John Rainey here in Ayrshire. Morning, John, wet point and in Cheshire. Oh, it's wet everywhere, it seems. Grey and miserable here in London. I was in London, yes. Oh, it was. It was grey and miserable in London yesterday, wasn't it? Lynn Tewitt says 10. I don't know what the answer to that one is. Uh, morning, Judith. Morning, Carol. Oh, no, hang on. That's not Carol. That's from... Oh, no. Is that where you live? Cherry Willingham. That's not your name. Graham. Uh, sewing, sewing... No, no, you don't mean sewing quarter masks. You don't mean sewing quarter masks. Oh, square. Square masks, you mean. Morning, says uh, Vanessa. Leslie's watching. I'll catch up in a minute. I'll just do all the names first. Thought you are looking very perky. It's my new hair. That's what it is. I'm not perky, Pauline, at all. Shirley, bigger stuff. Morning, Jerry. Morning, Julie. Linda. Sunny and scummy. Very nice. Oh, now June's talking to Nancy. Sazzy, good morning. Your hair's looking good. It is, isn't it? It's a good cut, this one. Uh, Kim, good morning. Claire, my youngest doing History Online live right now. Oh, dear. Morning, John, says Anne. Anyone else from Brighton? Says Sue Martindale. Kate Groom. Oh, she's got me now. That's mother. Uh, Cloudy in Waterlooville. Could you chop, chop, pop round, make sure my friend Judith's all right. She lives in Waterlooville. Uh, morning, John. Put you on the big TV today. That's Shelley. How's your Clint, Shelley? Shelley's got a lovely she shed in her garden. Year five, eight to nine years. Oh, that's what Lynn Truett was saying. How old they were. Thank you. Morning from miserable Melbourne. Not Melbourne in Australia, though. Overcast but warm, Devon. Susan Fitzpatrick just says morning. Jane, always watch. First time saying hello. Oh, Jane. Hello, my love. There's Shirley. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Morning, everyone. Dull and overcast in Lancashire. There's Jennifer Jones. Jennifer Jones. How are you, my love? Uh, cloudy and masked by the sea. Oh, now, Leslie, you're near Louisa Galt. She lives there. She takes, well, she doesn't take a dog for it. She hasn't got a dog. She takes her husband, Justin, for a walk. Deirdre. It's very cold in the Ribble Valley. It's not cold here. I've got the windows open. Mary, the beach at the top of the road. Looks across to the needles. Oh, I want to live near a beach. Anyway, carrying on. Uh, Lo, morning. No, she's not awake. Oh, third day of migraine. Oh, Lo. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a, you know you can get Botox in the back of your neck for migraines. That's how Francesca got rid of hers. Cloudy Chandler's Ford. Oh, it sounds posh there, Judy. Julie Williams says, good morning. Sassy says, oh, she's in Lancashire. Dolly Archer. Oh, what a lovely name. Dolly Archer. I'm just picturing you now, Dolly. If you've got a picture of a dog, so I can't see what you look like. Emma says morning. Wendy says morning. Kirstine says sun splitting the sky in Perthshire. Very nice. Sunny in Chesterfield says uh, Susan. Sill says a grey day in Hertfordshire. Bernie Corner says here's the link for Tuesday show. Oh, there you go. Whoever couldn't see it, there's the link. Blimey, Bernie, you're quick off the mark. Sandra from Sunny Sterling. Lynn, good morning, beautiful and sunny in Fife. It seems that Scotland have got the nice weather today. Cherry Willingham is a village about two miles from Lincoln. Is it near Metheringham, Carol? Is it near there? I did a wedding in Metheringham. Little challenge project coming your way with more dolls. Oh, were they difficult? From Bournemouth, but is not sand. Don't know what that means. Karen says, did you have a good trip to London yesterday? I'll tell you about it in a minute. Yes, I did have a lovely day. Dry in Glasgow, some come out. De Debbie! It's Debbie's birthday today. She says good morning to everyone. Shelly's having her haircut this morning. Oh, very nice. About time. Uh, I got my first post-lockdown haircut this week. That's Dominique as well. Dominique runs a, I don't want to say pub, 
but it's pub around the corner. Uh, Roberta says, morning, Iris, my hair being done next Monday, can't wait. I look like a 65 year old, doesn't it? Oh, Iris, I'm sure you don't. Uh, Victoria Peets watching. I'm miserable in London this morning. You'd never think it was summer. No, it's because it was St. Swithin's Day yesterday and it rained. That's why. Morning, John. Cloudy but promising in Manchester. I like your um, optimism there, uh, Anne. Lynn to it. He's definitely 10 years. He's definitely 10 years old. 5 September, he will be. Oh, I see. He's right. Okay. Then off to secondary school. How frightening. <gasps> Tina, good morning from Cambridge. Shirt. Clint still working hard, but got the day off to my nice. Uh, hello to Jane with a Y. Elaine, Pippi is in. Pipe to you and me, but Pippi. She's being posh in East Yorkshire. Overcast in Portishead. Morning, John. Love the shirt. Thank you, Christine. It's a bit tight, this one around the belly, since I put my chain shape in the lockdown. Uh, Overcast in Leicestershire says Sue. Shanaz says morning, John. Maggie says morning, Cloudy in Weymouth. <gasps> Bernie's on that. Ten, not Bernie Corner, different Bernie with the long name, Bernie Roche. Uh, 10,000 steps in and out with the washing. How much blooming washing have you done? Isabel says morning from Bidford, Bidford. Grey and Overcast in Portsmouth says Sharon. Hi, John. Met up with the lovely Dulcet. Yes, you did, Pauline. But Pauline, you sent me a message saying, look who I've met, right? And there was no picture. Also, Pauline, thank you very much for my goodies. She sent me a parcel full of goodies yesterday. I love that curry sauce on chips, by the way. Uh, love your chats. Oh, first time saying hello, says Linda. Hello, Linda, my love. Graham says, oh, there's... Oh, there you go. That's the Crafter's Companion. Yeah, the Crafter's Companion mask she got, yeah. Jill, hello, Jill. Now, Jill's sister-in-law used to live here back in the day. That's Penny. But Penny's in Cornwall on holiday. You can't watch, watch that panel. There's no, no Wi-Fi in Cornwall, apparently. Uh, Rebecca, good morning. Oh, hello, Rebecca. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, Kim says, hardly surprising all the stress at the moment. Loads of love. Ah, oh, thank you, Kim. Morning, John. All sunny in Edinburgh. It's obviously a lovely day in Scotland today. Debbie Lowe mentioned yesterday on your post. It's her birthday. Yeah, no, that's why I was shouting hello. I was shouting hello and happy birthday to Debbie. There isn't any sudden Peterhead yet. I don't know where that is. Ian, morning, John. Overcast in Norwich. Thanks for the photo. I gave mum a lovely lift. Oh, you're welcome, Ian, my love. Metheringham is south of Lincoln. My village is east of the city. Oh, OK. I, I um, made the wedding dress for the vicar's daughter there. Uh, there's Debbie. She's going to share a virtual birthday cake with us. No, that's no good. We want real cake. Thank you. Tracy says morning. I will start in a minute. We've got lots and lots of hellos today. I think I have a couple of it, ladies interested in making dolls for you. My local scrubs group. It's closing down now. Oh, Elizabeth, we'll just send them to my website for the pattern and everything. Jax. Dal and Drizzly in Nantwich. I think Drizzly's got two Zs in it, my love. Graham, let's see your shirt. Is it flowers? I'll show you in a second again. Cloudy in Portland, but Met Office says it'll be sunny later. Well, Pete and Francesca said yesterday that it was going to be baking this weekend, but I've just looked at my phone and it's not going to be baking here. Uh, right, Vanessa. Oh, they're chatting to each other there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was my tummy. When I coughed, my tummy shook the desk. Uh, sunny in Aberdeen. I don't know, uh, Graham. You'll have to look on the website. They do butterflies all the time. Uh, it gets nicely yellow. It's kind of an orangey colour, isn't it? Uh, right. Hi, John. Whist making wooden irons. Jenny, I don't know what you mean. Bernie did ten... If Bernie called us as if she did 10,000 steps, she'd be collapsing in a heap on the floor. You do 10,000 steps going to the pub, don't you, Bernie? Uh, hope, the, hope you get the news you want from... Her. Oh, that must be for somebody else. That's not for me. That, look at your personal messages on the page. Not that you need it, but I found a spare Slimming World book here at home. Cheeky madam. Thank you, Dominique. Uh, Sarah says, good morning, John from Hampshire. Uh, Louise is watching. Oh, cracky. Morning, John. Sun just popped its head out behind the clouds in Nottingham. Well, that's not in Scotland, is it? Overcast in North Hants. Watching whilst laying a patio. Do you mean someone else is laying the patio and you're just pointing? You having a crazy paving one done? <gasps> Always sunny when you're on jump. Sally, you're gorgeous. Morning, Lisa. Oh, no, you're saying to each other. Ivan, hello, how's your mum? Jean, dull day in Cornwall. Yes, majority have us <laughs> the internet. I'll have a word with Penny. I think she was embarrassed making her sister watch the show or something. Good morning, John Scott from a cloudy Tunbridge in Kent. No, Julie was in Kent at Deal just recently. Beside Aberdeen is Peter. Oh, OK. Good morning from Eastbourne, says Susan with a Z. Uh, B Dale in North Yorkshire. Oh no, Sue! I pa I draw. I when I got to Crafts Companion, I passed the sign for B Dale. Just seeing who's walking the dog outside. Uh, has Clive got his clothes on? I don't know what you're going on about, Lo. You keep saying about him being naked. 
Uh, morning from Gillingham in Dorset. My car won't start to get cheese scones from Waitrose. <laughs> so wait, some come out the oven. Ah, oh. it went too fast to reply. Wendy Allen, not as good as always. Thank you for asking. Oh, okay. Uh, Beverly, miserable in Steventon. Uh, Peter's in Scotland above Aberdeen. Uh, is that a quilt on your cupboard? They're all quilts. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, they're all quilts. Have you got your cover? No, 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 Claire. It doesn't go in until the 29th. It doesn't go in until the 29th. Oh, Jenny's watching whilst making wooden irons. How does that get hot? Or do you mean clappers? Do you mean a clapper? Uh, uh, good morning, John. Everyone in Exeter. Sheila loving the double buttons on the collar stand. Uh, I've got too much fat of a neck. I can't do it up. Jersey's cloudy, says Denise. Uh, and that's messages to Elizabeth. Mr. Ray of Sunshine, sorry I'm late. We haven't even done... It. Kathy, we haven't even finished the hellos yet. I know. Cloudy but warm in Exmouth. Oh, now that's funny because Ali, the lady, she's my brand manager. That's what she calls herself anyway. She lives in Exmouth. <laughs> Ali Barton, you're not alone, Bernie. <laughs> uh, morning from Cloudy Chelmsford. Good morning, John, says Jackie. Good morning from Denise in Jersey. Uh... Oh, blimey, Kirsty's lifting the slabs for a hobby. Blimey, you be careful, Kirsty. You'll ache tonight. I tell you what, you'll ache. Uh, Meg, morning dull, but not cold in Norfolk. Morning from a dull air show. It seems everybody's a bit dull. Not everybody, the weather's a bit dull today. It's a bit quiet there, John. Has your audience outside deserted you? Well, they're all at work, aren't they? Because it was a Sunday when they were all out last time. Hi, uh, right, okay, good morning. Oh, there you go. Julie, my sister in Julie, on the French motorway. She's not driving. Mike's driving, so don't worry. She can still be watching. Beautiful blue sky and warm in Gala Shield, says Derek. Sue says, pop in or I'll come, and I'll come with you. No, you can't get in my car with me yet. We can't do car sharing yet. Social distancing. Yeah, I've said that. I've said you're not driving, Julie. Uh, Jenny says, no, she's going to email me a picture. Oh, of the wooden, of the wooden irons. That'd be nice. Uh, morning, John. Hope everything okay. Your end good here. Thank you. Hope you're well, says Kath. I am. Thank you very much, dude. Where are the neighbours today? They're at work. They've got proper jobs. Uh, love the photo behind you. I'll tell you about that in a second. Lots of Eastbourne people here, says June. Clive's Instagram. When I'm on it, people, if I've asked... Oh, no. Has he got... I think he might have two Instagrams. He's on, actually. He's on watching, so he'll be able to tell you. I haven't got one where he takes his clothes off. Uh, right, so did my master wear Christine? I think so, but 900 arrived yesterday, so I'll have to check my list. I write, the, I write them down unpack them, take them to Dulcie, and then we pack them into boxes, in, bo in things of 10. Uh, Sunny in Northumberland, good morning, John. Oh, hello, Andrew. I'm good, thank you. Andrew used to work at Rocks & Co. Um, and he used to work at his mum's restaurant doing the eggs for breakfast. Too many steep valleys in Cornwall for good Wi-Fi. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, oh, hang on. We love you so much. It's our plot to keep you here all day. No, I'm not stopping all day. I've got things to do. Like a life to sort. Uh, Linda, Linda, I'm sorry I'm late. Talking shirts, not seeing you wearing the purplish shirt with a certain designer, RG. My husband has the same one. Is it the one that um, Marcy likes? It's got grey swirls and red stitches on it. Is that the one you mean, Linda? It nearly went on today for Marcy, but Marcy's not come in yet. Um, hello from Cloudy Essex. Oh, look, it's beautiful blue sky and County Down. It always is when I drive on that bit of the motorway between... I almost nearly said Weatherspoons. I don't mean Weatherspoons, do I? Where do I stay when I do um, Weatherby, Weatherby service station? Christopher's in. Oh, a bit late, Christopher, in the bath. Don't worry, Julie. Julie, we're still doing hellos. We haven't done anything yet. How many minutes in are we? 19 minutes in, we're still on hellos. Morning, Becky Swan. Now, if you've never bought any Chang's fabric, you should do. It's beautiful, beautiful. And you have to buy it to keep her, because she lives in Chiswick, in this posh, glamorous lifestyle in Chiswick. Jean, good morning, Jean. Jean made these for me. Uh, Christopher says, hello. Uh, morning, John from Cloudy Immingham near Grimsby. Is that near Mablethorpe or? No, Mablethorpe's not near Grimsby, is it? What's the seaside near Grimsby? Hello, says Sandra Samarkzuk. Lo, we're back making, sorry for then getting pieces done. Oh, you have a bit of a delay, Lo. Zahara says, hello. Becky Alexander Frost woken up everybody. Yeah, yeah, go to Claudio Lugley and have a look for butterflies. Uh, right, oh, I'm, I've caught up. Marcy says, yes, I'm here. I've been here since the beginning. Oh, God, love you. Swirly bits with red stitching, Linda. That's Marcy's favourite. Marcy's favourite shirt as well. I'll wear it. Uh, Cleethorpes, that's what I was thinking of, Carol. Well done. 
Whoa, blimey, that was exhausting. That was just saying hellos. Right, so people want to see the picture behind me. That was when, oh, my husband just called and stopped my viewing. Oh, no, Dominique. That was when, I'll just twist it around. Geraldine. Yeah, we, get, we haven't even got to that yet, Geraldine. Oh, no, I'm turning it the wrong way. That was when I was on location doing a film called Being Human. No, no, not Being Human. Ghost in the Darkness in South Africa. That was Ghost in the Darkness in South Africa. And yes, those are my quilts and there's my teddy bears that Ali and Marina made me. Right, okay, I'll get to that in a second. I'll get to that. Hang on, there's loads and loads of messages coming through. Right, Jenny, morning from Overcast. Oh, Jenny, were you just watching? I watched um, Escape to the Country yesterday and Jules took this couple. I mean, they did have three quarters of a million pounds to spend, but... Uh, oh, Claire and Jean, the phone's going crazy for masks. Oh, that's nice. Good morning. Has anyone been out late evening to the amazing Comet, Comet Neo Wise? Beautiful over Dartmoor. Oh, no, Roxana. Oh, are you near Maplethorpe, Shelley? I spent nearly every day in my childhood summertime. Well, not just summertime, so. I'll talk about the new programme in a second. Morning from Hastings, says Sandra. I'm listening to you through the car. Oh, you're on the way to work, Christopher. Yeah, you can't have the picture on, can you? You're not really going to miss anything. So, yeah, those are my quilts, my teddy bears. That was me on the set of Ghost in the Darkness when I used to work on the film industry. Right. So. Oh, Victoria, good morning from Cheshire. Good morning. Victoria. Oh, people want to see my shirt pattern as well. There's my shirt pattern. It's like birds and leaves. Was that a frog? What was that? Oh, it is. I've never noticed there was a frog on it before. There are birds on it somewhere. There seems to be more fro- oh, it's creased a bit now. Right, I've been watching the comet. Oh, morning, John, watching you from Norfolk. You are live in the art gallery. Oh, you could sell me as a piece of art, couldn't you? What new programme? What have I missed? How on earth did you miss that, princess? Right, okay. <coughs> if, <coughs> let me just take some water. Yes, just up, up the road from there. How lovely. Wendy. I bet you any money we were on the beach at the same time. Uh, love the shirt. Thank you, Gerardi. Gerardi's got to go in a minute, you see, so I've got to hurry up. I don't know what Elizabeth's saying. Read it. Oh, because it's a frog. Because it's a frog. Okay, so last week I said, thank you, Sassy. I said last week, if I launched the John Scott show. Oh, you're talking about the thing now, the, the comet thing. If I was to launch... On the internet, like you watch this, on a Thursday morning at 11 o'clock. Oh, Gillian, you're very kind. I go, that's going a bit far, said I look gorgeous. Oh, Anne. I don't know. She's late again, everybody. That's Anne. Just down the road. Oh, she's not down the road, but she's... Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, oh, Anne, your bags have gone, by the way. Uh, Anne delivered some um, scrubs bags this week. They've all gone to the, to the hospitals and everything. All been shared out. So I said last week, if I do a show called The John Scott, it couldn't be called anything, but we thought I called it The John Scott Show. And it's a subscription and it's like this. You watch it on the internet. So some of you can watch it on their telly. Some of you watch it on your computer. You can watch it on your phone. And it was not a shopping channel. We're not going to do selling or anything like that. But it would be like, imagine this morning, you know, like um, Richard and Judy or Fern and Phil or anything like that. Um, but with me presenting, with me presenting. And it was, it was tailored for all of you ladies and gentlemen who love sewing. Now it wouldn't, two hour, it would be a two hour show. Um, and we say it wouldn't all be sewing, but we kind of thought, oh look, Deborah got a postcard from Francesca. Francesca's got, Francesca's got about 400 postcards to write this week. So if yours doesn't come, because I delivered some more to her yesterday. Or I'll tell you about London in a minute. Let me write that down, London. We've got to talk about London, yeah. Um, morning, Lou. Uh, now I got a message from Lou earlier, didn't I? Did I answer it? Uh, anyway, so, so. If we have a show on a Thursday morning for two hours, say 11 till one, and we guaranteed there was an hour's sewing demo, no selling, we're not selling anything. Oh, Anio's on a tea break, busy morning, morning. Like a sewing magazine, yes, Bernie, like a sewing magazine, but so we'd have a definite dedicated hour in the show doing a sewing demo. So it could be quilting, it could be dressmaking, it could be um, quilting, it could be bag making. And I get people like Becky Alexander Frost and Lisa Lamb. You have to get the weatherman for your show. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh no, the Ali's in love with him, Karen. Is he the one that plays the drums? No, I'm not, I'm not impressed, not impressed. Uh, 
April, good morning. Were you born in April, do you think? Uh, hello, Wendy. So, 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 what else? Yeah, no, no, you're coming on to show how to make these. You're coming on to, to demonstrate your rings and everything. So we'll get, you know, kind of get, but hello, Jody. But we'll also do, so, so, who would you, so what I'm, what I'm trying to get round to, what I'm asking you before everyone goes, yeah, Lisa Lamb, you want Lisa Lamb? Okay, she's down on the list. Oh, hang on. Now, isn't that funny? Oh, now, it's, and somebody's just tried to video call me. Um, Becky Swan from Chang Fabrics as well. Yeah, Owen Hughes, he's not coming on. He's not coming on. He'll steal the limelight. Oh, Jenny sent me an email. Uh, Morning, Grace. Oh, I don't know where that message has come from now. Somebody sent me a message. I can't find it. It was from... Um... Anyway, I'll find it later. Just asked someone to teach me how to sew and found you. Oh, there you go, Aisha. Who does emergency liposuction? No, we're not going to be doing... No, that doesn't work. I don't think liposuction works. Yes, Iris. Iris, it's a fabulous idea. But I need to... Mandy Shaw, yeah. I need to know who you'd like to see. No, we're not having Owen the Weatherman. We're not having Owen the Weatherman. Um, but obviously, so what else? What else? Lovely dress. Isn't he, Karen? Do you wear dresses then? Earmuff supplied. Oh, that's not for me. That's for me. Uh, Helen McCook. Yes, I'll get Helen McCook. Definitely. She's getting married. She's supposed to be getting married soon as well, isn't she? Jennifer Taylor. Yes. Oh, you're going too fast now. It's going too fast. What's this say? Been watching the mask demo. Managed to miss the start. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Anne. Definitely. I would watch... I would watch so would my John. He doesn't so but enjoys your presentation. Well, we'll have other things on. We'll have other things on. Oh, yes, CL, yes. Lucy Brennan, yes. Jules Fallon, yes. Debbie Shaw. I don't know if Debbie Shaw would come on because she has her own channel, doesn't she? So I don't know if she would do. Louisa Galt, she'll definitely be on. Joe Carter, she'll definitely be on. Um, anyway, what else? What else would you like to see? Right, so we've got, so, oh, Jane Alcock, she'll definitely be on, yeah. Jane Alcock will definitely be on. Alistair, yes, he'll be there if he behaves. Um, I would love to be on, uh, oh, there's Lisa Lamb. There's Lisa Lamb. There, Lucy Brennan, yes. Um, so, um, what else, though? Debs, oh, yeah, Debs can come on. Debs can come on, yeah. Becky, I've already got Becky Alexander Frost down, yeah. Uh, Lisa, Becky... Victoria, which Victoria, which Victoria? So Mark's coming on, definitely. Mark's definitely coming on. Joanna, you were said right at the beginning, Joe Carter. <laughs> um, yeah, got Mandy Shaw. Could you do a demo? Oh yeah, me, me, I'll put me down as well. Yeah, I'll do a demo. Lucy and Mandy, Mandy Shaw. Oh, Mandy Shaw's very popular, isn't she? Fern, oh yes, Fern. We'll get Fern on as a guest. Well, she writes our books, doesn't she, Jane Greenoff? Well, we've got, how many weeks have we got so far? That's about half, six months, isn't it? Oh, Victoria Pete, yeah. Now, it all depends on when Victoria Pete's over from, um, um, where did she live? Gibraltar. Mary, she is. I've already booked her. I've already booked Zix, Zix, Vix to come and sing. Emma Bradford, yes, she'll be, she'll be there as well. Victoria Carrington. Now, it's, the studio's very near Sally Ann Harrison, so she can come, yeah. Um, and what's her name? Um, Louisa, there's Louisa. Louisa, she's coming on. Got Victoria Cantor. Now, I don't know Jenny Raymond. I'll have to write her down with a question mark because I don't know her. Karen, oh, no, Karen from Wigan's coming on, that's for sure, yeah. Because also, what we could do... Hello, Rita and Gloria. How are you, my love? Some of them can be in the studio and some that don't want to travel just yet could do them... Oh, Dulcie. We could have Dulcie on as a guest, yeah. She won't do sewing, but she can come on. Um, the winner of sewing, B. Claire. Now, nah, she might be a bit busy saving people's lives, mightn't she? Karen from Wigan, she's down with it. The Frenchmen, yeah, now the thing is about the Frenchmen, I'd have to pay for them to come over. So it has to be one we've made a bit of money. Um, Terry Fox, I'll write her down, don't know who that is. Is that a Terry boy or girl? Willie, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, Susan Briscoe's already down, yeah, definitely. Um, Jennifer Taylor got her. Dressmaking techniques, of course, pockets, yeah. Willie, Willine, Hammerstein. Oh, do you think she's made that name up? Millie Fury Quilts. I'm going to write that down. Okay. I'm only going to have friends on to start with. Uh, Dulcie, tell you about customs. She doesn't work in customs. Annie O. Susan Briscoe got her. Must have Dulcie. Joe Carter, who's been the week Jennifer Taylor. Jo ja oh, yeah, Jenny Jackson. She's down on the list, definitely. And I tell you also on the list, you, you might not have met yet. Hannah Bradley Cohen's on the list. 
Um, Joe Irving, he's on North West News. Oh, you talk about the weatherman. Uh, no, no, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do Zoom interviews, but we're going to get people in as well. So last week, somebody, um, Michelle, who lives nearby, she does felting. She's going to come on. Um, hopefully, hopefully all of this. But what we also thought we'd try and do, hang on, sewing, make your clothes fit. Yeah, Alistair. Uh, oh, hang on, what is it? Um, well done about ragdoll face making. That can't be for me. Oh, Tula Pink. It might be a bit expensive to get Tula Pink on. Got Alistair on the list already. Who's Patrick? Kim Bevan says Patrick. Who's Patrick? Uh, Karen Fuggin, yeah. Oh, she's very popular. Karen Fuggin, isn't she? Les Bogos. Are they the boys? Oh, yeah, they're, they're the boys, aren't they? Uh, basket making. There you go. So what else would you like to say? We're going to have cooking. We're going to have psychic. We're going to have book reviews. Oh, Francesca. Yeah. Uh, Claudio Lugley's not a person, Derek. It's Claudio Lugley's not a person. Well, it is, but he doesn't own Claudio Lugley shirts anymore. That's all right, Laurie, my love. How are you? In Oh, yeah, Nicholas Ball. Yeah, definitely have Nicholas Ball on. You see, we've nearly got a year's worth of shows already, haven't we? Oh, Patrick Grant. What would he come? He'd have to just come on ch chat, I suppose, wouldn't he? Because he doesn't do sewing. Uh, Jenny Jackson got her. Amanda White. Oh, I love Amanda White, yeah. But what we also thought was, and I'll do more of this. No, I've not made the name up. She's done. Oh, was she on Sewing Quarter with Victoria Peter? She'd do the blue quilts. Men's sewing, right? Okay. Well, we could get Mark to do that, can't we? Mark from Sewing, we could come on and do that. Emma and Helen Rhiannon, of course. She might have had another baby by then, might not she? Helen Rhiannon. I don't know who Janet Clare is, I'm afraid. Kate, now, I don't know if Kate would come on because he's very loyal to Natasha. Luna Lapin. I think the lady's got a name, though, hasn't she, that makes Luna Lapin? I've met her. Oh, yeah, Charlotte Newland, yeah. Amanda Little, yeah, because she could do long, long. Actually, no, that will take me to the next section. Susan Briscoe done that. Goldwork got that. Nicholas Ball got that. Yeah, because she made costumes. I know Kate. Yeah, Mark Francis, he's down there. Luna, yeah. Wood carving. Oh, wood carving. With Ali. Uh, Patrick, Patrick was saying, be Patrick. Felt, yeah, I've got felting down. Felting. I'm going to fill a whole page of this right now. Um, hypnosis. Maybe, yeah, hypnosis. That wouldn't be in the sewing section, though, would it? Lizzie Curtis, yes. Lovely Lizzie. I've only worked with Lizzie on Zoom. I've not met her, met her. Uh, Helen, got her, uh, Esme, talk about her work, yeah, I don't know Esme, so she might not come on, but I'll put her down, yeah, Terry Fox, the girls, Taylor, Sarah Peel, oh yes, that's right, how about Tracy, the overlocking, hey, Tracy Simmons, or Simons, yeah, Tracy Simmons, I'm going to call her Simmons, Jess from Jelly Be Good, is that Jessica, Jess Entwistle, she lives in Bath, doesn't she, so she'd be quite local, yeah, Esme, Diana Cooper, who works with angels. I'm presuming she's not sewing then, Diana Cooper. Blimey, look at this, angels. Mighty her, Helen Rhiannon got her. Tatting. Right. Uh, Jamie Kemp, yep. Janice and her coloured hair, yep. Um, Jenny from Scott. Oh, Jenny McCreary, yes, Jenny McCreary. Long way for her to come, though. That's the only trouble. Got Jamie Kemp, Patrick for eye candy, or make him sit on the sofa in his pants. No, John, the EPP quilts with tiny pieces. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sewing machines. Now, yeah, that might be difficult, though, because you can't be sure. I'd have to be careful that I did a, an even thing, really, don't I? Lauren from Guthrie and Gunning. Right, now, that's really funny, because when we set up, Sewing quarter. We rang her and, said, she, and she was like, no. So, you know. Uh, Petra Pins was the lady. That's right, Victoria. There you go. Victoria, how often do you come over? Because we need to fit you in somewhere, don't we? Helen Newton. Yes, she's on the list. Um, Janet Clare is a wonderful quilt designer. Look her up, Janet Clare. She never came on. She did, I don't think she ever came on. There's that lovely lady from Australia, isn't there? There's two Australian names, aren't there? There's the weird, I say weird, don't mean weird. 
Lynette Anderson, but she only comes over once a year, didn't she? And then there was another lady from Australia, wasn't there? Louise, Ke oh yes, Louise Kelly. I'll, I'll have to get her when she's over from Ireland. I can't afford to fly her over just yet. Uh, leather work, oh, that's a nice idea, leather work. Blimey, it's keeping us going, is it? Hand quilting, printing on fabrics. Right, what about not non? Oh, no, I see the doll, doll face painting was a request. Okay, got you. Uh, people working on films telling tales, that'll be me. Uh, Luna Lapidus, Sarah Peel, yes, I've got her written down, met her. Sorry, Mr. Stark, where, what is that? Gloria, sorry, Mr. Stark, what is, we hope, we, well, we haven't, it's not definite yet, right? But uh, we're thinking of doing a John Scott show, subscription, so you pay like three pounds a week or something like that to watch the show. And, um, oh yeah, Christopher can do flowers. Uh, low, yeah, I've got low down. She's going to do jewellery. Yeah, she'll have to make something. She'll have to fill an hour. She'll have to fill an hour. Gillian Travis. I've never heard of her. Gillian Travis. Uh, what about you doing a wedding dress lot? I could, but um, how many people actually make wedding dresses? I don't, we could do. We could do. Have a look at Joe Hill's website. Right, you know, Joe Hill's. Um, who's the lady that's Sashko? Yeah, Susan Briscoe. We've got her down already, Karen. Yeah. Blue hair. Pyrography. Oh, now there's a lady around here that does that. Shows the Chipping Camden um, Cafe, I think. Cook. Oh, no, we're definitely doing cooking. We're definitely having chefs on each week doing, and not doing big, heavy meals, but like how to do the perfect scone, how to do the perfect fairy cake, things like that. Neil and his wife from Franklin's. Yeah, but what would they demo? Oh, the, the, the wife. We'll have Neil on because we love Neil. Um, pattern drafting, yeah. That might take more than an hour. But we're going to do things like uh, full bust adjustments and things like that. Willane does the Pasquillian. Right, okay. Angie Atwood. Oh, yes. We could do that, yeah. Uh, oh, Kate's just back from a long walk. Kerry from Living in Love. Living in loveliness. What's that then? Loveliness. What is that, Kerry? Who's that sent that one? Joyce, you need to fill me in. I don't know who that is. Jules. Oh, no, Jules. Yeah, Jules on the list. Could not some live that far away? Well, the thing is, um, we'll use lots of people because the studio is going to be in Western Supermare if I do it from the studio. So free motion embroidery got that. What about something like Martin Lewis, but sewing related? Martin Lewis is a friend of mine. Christmas makes, well, yeah, it might be a bit late. By the time we get going, it might be a bit late for Christmas, but yeah. Uh, pattern adaptations for Funky Chunky Ladies, definitely Amy. Louise Kelly got her. So we would have to describe to be able to watch it. Yes, Princess. It would be a, a subscription channel um, for the year. But if, you were, if it works out, it would be like, say, two or three pounds a week. It's, you know, less than a cup of coffee. Do you know what I mean? Jane Alcock, definitely. Knitting and crochet, got that down. Got the French boys down, if I can afford their bus fare. Alison Cremona, don't know her. Uh, Vicky from Shoot Lane, yeah. Does she make things as well, Lo? She's watching, I think, isn't she? Isn't she watching? I don't know if she's watching or not. Janice, got Janice down. Karen Lewis with her, f oh yes. It cost me a fortune getting all these pieces. How about embroidery refresher demo? Oh, yes, embroidery. Well, we could get um, Helen McCook to do that, couldn't we? Rag rugs. No idea what they are. Rag rugs. Okay. Jen King's, oh, no, she's gorgeous. And she's I can't afford to get her at least. So I can't afford to get her over from Australia. Unless she comes over. But then, you see, there's not going to be any festival quilts until next year. Things. They might not come over. Yeah, no, 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 Laurie, definitely, definitely. We're going to do some people, but but now, I explain why we're not doing that too much, Laurie, right? Because if they're like me and they've only got, what's this thing called? An iPad, right? Um, if I, if if they, if they um, only have this, you can't show off the sewing properly. Whereas if they come to the studio, we've got full on cameras or, you know, everywhere. So you'll be able to see it better. So people who don't need, like, if I do a book one or we're just chatting to somebody, then I'll do this. But 
if it's a proper full on sewing, it needs to be like in sewing quarter in the studio with lots of different um, cameras and things like that. I'm thinking, I'm talking about um, in the future as well, you know, when we're not um, social distancing. Oh, Tilly Rose Vintage, of course. She has to come on, didn't she, with all, all the old tap that she makes. So to grow does Zoom. Yeah, no, you see, now, you see, Sharon, some people have got the, you know, like the different cameras and they can do it from all different angles. But there's nothing more frustrating. Like when I do a Sunday morning sew along and I have to keep going, so I've stitched this bit here and do all that. If you've got cameras in the right place, imagine how much better it's going to be. Do you know what I mean? Jenny Doan. Oh, now I know. Why do I know Jenny Doan? Um, coming over to the start of August for a quick visit. Well, it won't be set up by then. Oh, OK. When things get more normal, you fly over. Well, that's good. Morning, says Christina. You've got Jane Green off. Block printing. Blimey, I'm going to run out of space. Block printing. We want painting. Marina's going to do painting, isn't she? Uh, Laurie Holt. Now, why do I know her name? Laurie Holt. Uh, upholstery. Ooh. Rag cookie and punch needlework. Jennifer Taylor, she's already down. Oh, Claire had she, but anyway. Uh, Wendy's a psychic and I work with angels. Oh, there you go. Wendy Allen, psychic. There you go. So what other things then? Right, hang on, fashion style by me. <laughs> Jan Hazard. I've never heard of her either. What does Jan Hazard do? Uh, Lynette Anderson comes to Cowslip. Yes, exactly. She's brilliant, she Lynette Anderson. Curtain making. Well, I don't know if we have a desk big enough for that, but I'll put that down. Curtain making. We might have to make baby ones, might we? Artist or illustrators would be nice. Yes, exactly. Barge painting. The studio's not big enough to get a barge in. Uh, Joe Hill's work is beautiful. Machine embroidery. I'm only up the road in Solio. Oh, okay, um, it's the studios are in Western Supermare if I do it. So it's not just up the road. Chutney, chutney making. That's a good one. Chutney making. I'll need to cancel some subscriptions. So uh, Vanessa, I'm going to keep it as cheap as I possibly can, though. Patent alteration, got that. Jane Green, I've got that. Hannah Bradley Cohen, we've said to her, haven't we? We're not having Gok on, no. Angie Atwood, yeah. Brilliant. Emma Jewel Crafts. Never heard of her, either. Emma Jewel Crafts. I'll have to call these up this afternoon, wouldn't I? Dominique, my husband is a frustrated thespian. He be, but does, is he the chef then, Dominique? Dominique's husband. Let's write that one down. Dominique husband. Is he is he a bit of eye candy though, Dominique? Is he good looking? Would we be able to pay my Oh, I don't know yet, Jane. I haven't even got I haven't even got that far yet. I haven't even got that far yet. I don't I don't really know. But I'm because obviously that would have to be done. This is just, we, this has just come from an idea we had last week. In fact it wasn't even last week, it was, it was just on Sunday. A bust adjustments, yeah, I've got that down, Louise. Yarn bombing. Oh, yes, yarn bombing. Now, isn't that what? I've got a friend I think who does yarn bombing. Is that where you make little hearts and you just deliver them to people's houses? Uh, Tara says, I'm late to the show. Uh, Sally Stevens, she's down, yeah. James Martin, the chef. Now, I know James Martin. He wouldn't come on to a little show like mine, though. Oh, now, Sue, who are you talking about? She's on Sewing Street at the moment. What, what right now? On the telly downstairs right now? Uh, oh, Kerry, Kerry, Kerry's on Sewing Street. Did I write Kerry down? I did, okay. You'll be running out of ink in a minute with all your suggestions. I know, Karen. Okay, clothes styling tips for me, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mrs. H. Mrs. H, she's bag patterns, yes. Ha no, uh, Susan, we've not really thought about it, but we kind of thought if it costs the sort of same as like going for a cup of coffee at Starbucks or Costa or anything like that, so it'd be like three pounds a week or something like that. That's what we kind of thought, because obviously we, not to make it's not to make huge amounts of money, but it's to pay for all the people to come into the studio to do the things. You know what I mean? There's there's underlying costs that we have to cover. Can we have some. Can we have someone show us how to make children's clothes? Yes, Ali, children's clothes. Of course. 
Holly Johnson. Oh, yeah, we'll get Holly on. Holly Johnson. I'll get lots of my celebrity friends. I'll get Karen McGiffin to come on and things like that. Sally B. Oh, now, Sally B is very similar to my friend. Ali, Ali, Ali. She lives in Chiswick. I've done her sewing courses. She's lovely. Anyway. Oh, a tractor could do reflexology. I didn't know you were a reflexologist, a tractor. Oh, two learning lots, aren't they? Jules got Jules down, got Janice down. Uh, got Victoria Pete down. Kirsty Olsop. I can't imagine she'd come on. Oh, cross stitching. That's the one. I mean, the only reason Kirsty come on is to advertise her new show, I suppose. Look her up on Facebook. She likes lovely items. Machine knitting. How many people have got a machine knitter these days? Isn't that like a 1970s thing? Jane Greenoff, she's down. Pattern cutting's down. Lisa Comfort. Oh, yes. She's um, the, like the 1940s one, isn't she? Tambor embroidery. Ooh. Write that down. Don't know what that is. Doll's clothes. Tony. Uh, cowslip, yeah. Uh, cowslip, yeah. She's, now, she's a friend of... Mandy Shaw's, isn't she? Oh, Diamond Dots. Is that the, is Diamond Dots, is that the, the picture where you make lots of crystals? I've got one that Mary bought me. They haven't started yet. Jamie Malden Block Printing. Okay, we've got over a year's worth here, haven't we? Right, let's stop on the sewing side. Quilting paper. Can you quilt paper? Question mark. Doll's house, what you're making. Could we have a bobbin lace? I've got that written down. There's a chap on Money for Nothing who makes bags. His name is Rag. What? What's Money for Nothing? Is that the one where they get something out the tip? Does he make leather bags? I need a new bag. Uh, was engrossed ordering sewing area furniture? Oh, Diane, get you. Clippy mats up north. Uh, and I think Kafe would, Kafe's um, kind of loyal to Natasha. I think he'd stay with Natasha. Oh, Pam and Nikki Lintop. Yeah, of course. Because the other thing, right, let me start. I've got Sally Stevens. Who's Jenny McCurry, Laurie? Who's, uh, do you mean Jenny McCreary? Sue Quinn. Oh, yes, I have to have Sue Quinn on, don't we? I can do Bobby Lace, says Susan. Where you go? Vicky can come on and sing. She's already booked. Don't you worry, Wendy. A bit of bling rhinestone. Oh, very nice. Becky from Amazing Crafts. Beautiful teddy bear patterns. Missouri star. Oh, my word. Bobby Lace making that's down, Graham, already. Pete Cohen, sewing mindset. It's, he, he doesn't do a podcast about sewing as well, surely. Jenny's Miss Story Star Cutting. Well, it's when we'd only be able to get her when she came over, wouldn't we? EPP will get Jenny Jackson and uh, Louisa Galt to do that. Lovely hanky view. That was ages ago I showed that. Gina, you were a bit behind. Dorset buttons. Jenny D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got macrame. Oh, macrame. Not got that one down. Macrame. Yeah. Listen, I can hardly afford to get you from blooming Shropshire. Um, Becky Allen's under frost. I'm not going to afford Laurie Holt from America. Ellie Jones from Craft That's Magic Brilliant. Watch on Friday blog, YouTube. June, her furniture upcycling. That's a good one. Jams and Chutney's got that one. Who's the quilting cowboy? Karen Lewis, I've done. I've got that one down. Got that one down. Oh, Debbie's a psychic and she's those two. Got Emma Bradford down. Relaxation. Well, I need some of that. Um... Hat and Fascinator making. Crystal. Oh, yeah, crystals. That'd be a nice one. Jewelry making, yeah. Oh, yeah, that we get someone off jewelry maker, couldn't we? Jewelry making. Right, okay. So, Tom Hardy, just sit there naked. Thank you, low. Lower the tone. Yeah, I thought you had a headache. Jewelry making. Oh, cake decorating. That's a good one. Cake. I'll get my friend Sally to do that. You know, who makes all the cakes for my birthdays and things. So, right, okay, Darren, um, Darren, Diane, I'll come to that in a second. He's a chef, I think. But yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so, Elizabeth, I don't know who's, uh, we haven't even, it's just an idea at the moment, but look, look how many ideas you've given me now, just in this last 20 minutes. Uh, so I don't know who's on the first show. My sewing machine is mobile. 
John can do Western. Oh, there you go. June can come on. Fabric design. That, well, no, that's it, Sharon. We're going to get you to come on as well. Now, I would, I don't know if I'd be allowed to do that, Linda, because I'm trying to get the BBC to do that. Uh, quilting block of the month. I don't be careful because Jane's done one of those for Natasha and then John's done one for Sewing Street, hasn't it? Right, okay, so. Oh, look, I've got so many. There's so, I'll have to read all of this later. I'm sorry, they're all... Oh, my word, there's hundreds. I'll have to read all this later. Um, because I'm way behind on all... The, oh, my word, there's hundreds. There's hundreds. Right, okay. Ricky Timms. Who's Ricky Timms? So, what else apart from sewing? I won't keep you much longer because what's the time? Oh, yeah, we need to go. I won't keep you much longer. But um, what... Apart from sewing, we've got we've had jam making, chutney making, cake making. There's no audience, Bernie, <laughs> at the moment. But 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 what we think is a two-hour show, Vida, two hours. What we need socks, that's a good one. Micro quilt for month. What you put in the microwave. Oh, I'm confused, Elizabeth. I'll, what I'll have to do is read all of these later because there's so many. There's so many, aren't there? Um, so why don't you, uh, what about other things? Somebody walking down the road, I don't know who it is. Um, I might have known your him. Oh, um, yeah, I've got a social studio, we've already got them down. Bonsai, oh, that's a good one. Exercise for people who sit, that's already sorted. Yeah, I've already sorted that one. Healthy eating, silk flower making, gardening. There is a garden. Oh, hang on, the postman's here. Oh, my postman's here. Let me just say hello to him while I wait for him to get all the stuff out the box. Um, and that's loads. There's loads. I will read all of these later, I promise. Knitting machine. What, keep fit slot. Oh, my Brad can't come on. He'd be too busy working. Quilting is a paper rolling tape. Oh, exactly. Gossip and Witchery will be lots of that. Definitely, definitely lots of that. Oh, it sounds like there's loads of parcels coming in. I have to go and say hello to my postman in a minute when he comes to the door. Beekeeping, that one might be a bit difficult because I don't think there's any um, beehive. But, 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 what we're thinking of doing is, or yoga, what we're thinking of doing is getting remote cameras and going to our favourite fabric shops and going all around the country filming from different fabric shops. Is that a good idea? I know. Dick and Angel Strawbridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't like that show, Let's Get to the Chateau. Soap, hand cream, lip balm, candle. Oh, blimey, Lisa Lam, you've got too much time on your hand. Menopausal tips. <laughs> My diet food recipes were very good. Did I do diet food recipes? Growing vegetable in pots, that's a good one. Kale's around the village. Yeah, we'll do that anyway. Confectionery, we'll do that. Oh, I'm just, I've given up writing now. There's way too many things coming in. Oh, ha hang on a sec. Thank you. Yeah. Just saying thank you to the postman. Uh, lots of parcels downstairs. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to go now. Because <laughs> we've done our hour. We've had our hour. And there are so... Your demo, lady, on Crafters Companion Tuesday. Oh, comments about using the rotary cutter. Yes, he said so. Mark has a great shopping bath. Who's Mark? Who's Mark, Anne? You see, they're going too quickly now for me to write down. So what I'll do is I'll sign off now. Um, and we'll sort it out. So I need to know, uh, the most important thing is, uh, would you, would you pay two or three pounds a week to do it? That's, that's the other thing. One of my ex-colleagues keeps bees. Well, no, no, we could go to their house to film it, you see. You must visit Oso Street in near Barnsley. Oh, lovely, yeah, will do. And, um, now who else, who else is there? Lots of ideas, June. There's so many ideas, aren't there? Fantastic. Right, okay. So I'm going to go. Only if you're selling it. Oh, that's to somebody else. Oh, my word, that's exhausting. Dating for Desperate Housewives. Loretta. Weaving. Oh, that's a nice one. Could you get a, could you get, um, Loom into the studio, though? Calico Kate in Lampeter is an amazing shop. Well, there you go. Yeah, we've got to do it now, haven't we, Lisa Lamb? Is there a nice, um... Fabric shop near you, Lisa Lamb. 
Oh, like Princess would play. That's nice. Who was the lady who told you? You oh, are reaching across. Uh, Joy, Joy Edrington. She'll definitely come on. That's fine. I don't, you, don't need, you don't need to sign up now, but I just want to make sure I didn't want to set it all up and then people go, oh, I'm not paying two pounds a week for it. Geraldine, you should have gone back to work ages ago. Bye. Yes, Christopher, a newspaper is 85p. Yes, exactly. What do you mean, what are you paying for? The whole show, Claire. You've not been listening for the last hour. They go, Martina would pay. That's sweet. That's lovely of you. Thank you. And it's literally, it would only be a couple of tabletop weaving. Oh, that's a good one. It would literally... No, 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 Helen, we'd have to, I'd have to ask. I haven't even looked into how it works. Because what I thought we'd do is... This is just my quick idea. Is... Uh, oh, Pauline's lost the sound now. Um, if you joined in the first month, get it half price or something like that. Do a whole year... But I haven't even really sat down and thought about it. But as long as I know you'd all sign up, that's the main thing. Because it would be in a nice studio, or we'd go round or we'd have zoom interviews and everything like that we're not having sewing naked attraction thank you very much indeed cowslip i don't know the people at cowslip but um mandy shaw's a really really good friend right i've got to go because i've got a work call coming in in four minutes time and i need to go for a tinkle um i don't know what we're gonna sew on sunday um thank you everybody yeah claire i'm not shouting don't worry um just watch it later on my daughter is a new beekeeper. Oh, there you go. Where does she live, Annette? I will come to Goldstitch in Durham. And then we could do the whole show from your shop. And your mum could make... Jean Older can make the cakes. Oh, no, she's not called Jean Older, is she? You could do Lisa Lamb, then come along to Hastings. So a shop in Hastings, Sandra. A tractor, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you pay more than that for a decent magazine. There you go. And it would be every single... You would. It would be every single week. Every single week, see. I was trying out Gemini diet in the Sizzix machine. Did it work? Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'd pay, but not three figures. All right, Isabel. <laughs> 99 pounds and 99 pence to you then, Isabel. Um, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for your support. I'm definitely in. The friend I mentioned is also in. There you go, you see. I'm in. There's a great show. Are you from... <coughs> You're not in Horncastle, are you? Is Norncastle Essex? Yes, no, no, you'd be getting a sewing demo. How much? Okay, if you go to your local sewing shop, how much does an hour long sewing demo cost you? You'd be getting one of those every week. Every week? Every week. Can we have a recap of face masks? Oh, yeah, oh, on Sunday. Oh, yeah, maybe I could do that on Sunday. A suit bowl holder. What are you like? Come to Wolverhampton. There you go. We can go all over the place. Somerset, Devon and Cornwall. Did you, I'm going to get one for free, Karen, I think. Apparently, I'm going to get one for free. Right, I'm going to go now because I've got to get on. And I, Oh, the sun's come out, as he says. Not here, it hasn't. Oh, Aisha says she's glad you found me. Right, Aisha, we do every Thursday at 10 o'clock and every Sunday at 11 o'clock if you want to come and watch. Same for Gemini Machine now. Oh, Claire, be careful because I know that deal is only for a little while longer. June, thank you. I love the chit chat as well. Jenny's in. Jenny with a lovely big. Is that a sunflower or is it a dahlia? Fantastic. Oh, Horn Castle's in New Lincolnshire. What's the one near? Oh, Horn Church. I'm thinking of Horn Church in Essex, aren't I? One five six. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Um, that was just me going as a throwaway number. You know what I mean? It, it's um. How about ear protectors on Sunday for masks? Don't know what that means. Oh, Helen would like to see a suit bowl holder. Why? Oh, and now um, I did my first teaching practice in Dewsbury, Jenny. Oh, good gold work and ribbon embroidery. Yep. Look, you see, Gloria pays eight pounds for one hour just for one let one class. So to me. Thank you. Right, I'm going now. Then I'm going to go now. Bye, Shelley, my love. You take care of yourself. Love to Clint. Bye, Carol. Um, I'm sure there was something else I have to add. I cozy. I don't worry, I will write all these down later. I've run out of space and ink and everything. It's so good. If you need any help, watch Lizzie Curtis. I'm uh, not quite sure what that's into. Miserable here. There ain't that witch to do. Ooh, no. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going, Kate. All right. I will be subscribing. Something sort of thought to Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Don't wear your pants, John. I won't. <laughs> Thanks very much. Right. 
I'll see you on Sunday at 11 o'clock and we'll recap masks then because obviously everyone's got to start making masks for their own wear, haven't they? I will see you on Sunday at 11 o'clock. Big kiss. Bye. Oh, why is it? Sorry, but why is everyone doing soup bowl holders suddenly? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going. Bye, 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 bye.